Okay, good. Topic, role play, question. It's your time. How about getting the prospect to talk to you on a cold call? So a lot of times I feel like just blowing me off, want to get off the phone. Do they have anything to talk about in the future or should I just not call them back again? Uh, do you ever get a telemarketer call you? I have. I what hang up on them. Okay. Definition of sanity, insanity? We're just doing the same thing over and over and getting, expecting to get different results. Okay. So we're doing the same thing. It doesn't work. And then when you get the same calls that you're talking about making, you hang up on them. So what, where am I? So is there a lot of, pardon my language, the bullshit in this business? Yeah. Okay. If we, if we just call and say, read the script and do the same thing everybody else does, I, you know, you know you're, it's going to be a hundred percent rejection. I hate rejection. Who does, who likes it? Maybe a masochist, right? So what, <laughs> how do you change Christian? This is a great topic. Thank you. How do you change the environment? So this person wants to speak with you or how do you, how do you stimulate? What can you do different? Then you were do, uh, completely different from what everyone else is doing. I have to get their attention somehow. How? Set an agenda. Well, you can set an agenda, but you got to have something called an opener or a pattern interrupt. Let's talk about, Lou, tell everyone what a pattern interrupt is. Oh, uh, yeah. oh gosh. Oh, but, uh, oh. You want to. Oh, that hurt. You want to throw something at them? You want to say something that just completely blows your mind? It, it just comes out of left field. The left field. Something unusual, something unique. Um, right. Something. How would they treat you if you were the next door neighbor calling? Christian, if you, you said, hi, uh, hi, um, Mr. Patton, uh, I'm uh, your neighbor down the street. I don't know my neighbors. Click. Okay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Most, <laughs> most likely, if you said you something like that, if you called them up and said, um, one of my favorite is um, uh, ring, ring. Say hello, Christian. Hello. Yeah. Hi, Christian. Claude Diamond. Sorry it took me so long to get back to you. How can I help you? That's cool. I don't know. You called me. I don't know. Uh, you have been, you're right, sir. But I, is, uh, this is your number, right? One, two, three, four. I got it on a post-it here. Yeah. Um, I don't know why you have a post-it. I don't either. You got to help me here. This is, it's got to be a, re uh, were you at my web page or something like that? Yeah, I mean, I was I was looking around. I was thinking about selling my house. Oh, so you're looking for a realtor? No, no, I, I don't want to deal with the realtors. Why not? I mean, I don't want people coming through. I have tenants. I don't need to have an open house and people bothering the tenants. I, I just want to sell this place. Is, 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 I mean, a couple quick questions, if you don't mind. So I, I can give you some direction here, a couple solutions. Is that all right? Yeah, I mean, if you can give me some solutions. You know, if we can, if we can, okay, off the role play. What, what are we in right now? You've got me engaged. I got you engaged, babe. I had you. What do they say in Jerry Maguire? She says, you had me at hello. Okay. Sorry. I said, um, uh, sorry, it took me so long to get back to you. How can I help you? Well, you called me. They always say that. I said, but this is your number, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, they don't remember if they went to your webpage, they sent you an email, they scheduled it. They, people don't people spend so many hours on the computer. Do you think they remember every little contact and communication they make? No. Nope. Oh, never underestimate the insecurity of your fellow man and woman. And just, you. Oh, one of the things I love to do is act, feign ignorance. Gee, you got to help me here, Mr. Austin. Uh, is this about real estate? This isn't about real estate, is it? Uh, it probably is. I mean, I have a house to sell. Oh, um, you, I might be interested. Uh, where is it located? Uh, it's right in Boston. I'd like to make you an offer on that property. Sure. What's your offer? Can I ask you, if, can I get a little bit more information before I write that big check? Yeah, I mean, what, what do you need to know? Well, okay, the basics, but now we're in a dialogue again. How did I trigger an emotional response? What did I say? One word. You said write a check. You know, check. Check is good. Offer is good, right? Offer money. Okay. What happens? What happens when you go right to New York City style? Maybe Boston style too. You know, when you go right to the heart of the matter, right to it. What happens? Hi, Hervic. 
Did you spend all your money yet? <laughs> no, not yet. I haven't answered any any phone calls or any emails yet. <laughs> well, now's exactly when you should. Yeah. <laughs> Herbert, did, Herbert did a really sweetheart deal. We talked about it on Monday. If you guys were, I, I think two of you were there. I don't know if Christian, Christian, were you on the Monday call? No, I saw the replay. That oh, was a good one. That was oh, a, congratulations. That was a fun call. Yeah, I like to hear those stories. So we're talking about um, breaking through the barrier, uh, eliminating the high rejection. What's your favorite opener, Hervik, when you call somebody up? Uh, I, I like the, uh, how can I help you? Oh, how can I, can you I call, well, you called me. What do you mean? Yeah, that's, I sent you a text message to which you replied. So I was giving you a call to see how, you know, how I could be of service. I didn't get any, I didn't get any text message. I sent you a text message about the property you have on so-and-so street. Are you still, is that still for sale or did you sell it already? Yeah, but I'm all, okay. are you one of those investor guys? What's that? I'm sorry. Are you one of those investor guys? I, I am. I am one of those investor guys. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking for uh, for yeah. something over in your neighborhood. Okay. The answer is I can be whatever I, I, I do. I have to be, sir. Answer a question with a question. question. Why is he asking you if you're one of those investor guys? Why is he asking that? He's trying to. Uh, yeah, to, yeah. For obvious, for di for a couple of different reasons, but he's trying to box me into that into that rejection area. Person that'll be rejected. Is it going to be positive if you say, yeah, I'm an investor? Does it go up or? Uh, I guess in my mind, I'm trying to be counterintuitive kind of or, or trying to. Do a, give him a smart ass Claude Diamond answer. Sir, whatever, what do you, uh, I'll be whatever you want, sir. I can be taller, shorter, a realtor, an investor. Or what, what would you, what do you look, what do you need from me in order for us to do business today, sir? Well, I'm, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I need a, I need my asking price. I need my price to sell this house. I need five hundred thousand. Okay, sounds reasonable. You mind if I ask you a few quick questions, and then I'll make you an offer. Is that fair? A couple questions, and you can make me an offer. Okay. Yeah, I'll make you an offer right. I'll make you an offer in a few minutes from now. I promise you, I will. Um, and uh, then you ask me a few questions. If we can do business, great. If you accept, if not, tell me to get lost. Fair. Fair, fair enough. Okay. What did I just do? Just but I just agenda. Set up an agenda. Always go for the agenda when the moment, when you get that magic moment. Uh, Christian, back to your original question. Do anything like, sorry, I'm getting back to you. Oh, I got your number here in front of me. Why am I calling? Uh, if you get their name, a lot of times people leave their uh, They tell you their name. Hi, this is Christian. Hi, this is Claude. Say, hey, Christian, um, uh, um, how can I help you? Well, you called me, you know, and then you just, you work it through there. Okay. If they think you're a next door neighbor, their old school teacher, their college buddy, somebody from work, are they going to treat you differently? Yeah. Absolutely. Has everybody made the same boo boo I've made? Did you ever get somebody on the phone who called you up and you thought it was a telemarketer and you started to get real nasty and then say, Hey, Claude, this is Joe Blow, your old friend. You know, oh, sorry, Joe. You know, has anyone had that experience? I've done that. <laughs> Because they you thought they were a telemarketer or something. You get so much of that stuff. I got three today, three robocalls.